Namo Shakyamuna Yabudaya. Uh, dear respected Te, dear noble community, before we uh, share, I would like to introduce myself. I am Pháp Yai, and uh, the teacher next to me is Te Nimluk, and uh, representing For the Deer Park Monastery Sangha, we would like to offer um, to uh, lay friends uh, all the well wishes, well wishes, and uh, and a lot of luck. Dear Nobu community. We we all know that uh, that the pandemic COVID nineteen is is spreading throughout the uh, globe and uh, has caused a lot of uh, fatalities for many people. Uh, the most important thing that we need to do right now is is we have to or we need to support and uh, apply the methods that uh, the uh, medical organization has offered, has recommended in order to prevent the pandemic spreading for ourselves and uh, for others. We also pray for, uh, for the scientists to be able to find the uh, effective treatments in order to uh, cure this disease. At the same time, we would like to send our compassion and uh, peace to those who are not fortunate enough, uh, the, to those who have uh, passed due to this disease. Same with the uh, phenomena of earthquake, volcano, hurricane, and so on. Uh, the pandemic of COVID-19 in the eyes of uh, Buddhism, in the, uh, in under the look of Buddhism, um, this is just one of many other phenomena, natural phenomena, and very uh, natural. As uh, sooner or later it will happen, in our world. The realm that the Buddhism calls it the uh, realm of phenomena, the realm of formation. So, yeah. so when we call it normal or natural, then our fear is also reduced a lot our anxiety, nervousness uh, in our mind will also be reduced greatly. The, the Buddhist, uh, Bud Buddhism calls it natural, normal. It's because that we know that in the uh, in the Shurangama uh, Sutra the Buddha has uh, given us the a very uh, clear teaching, uh, miracle teach, miraculous teaching. That is, uh, is when uh, causes and conditions come together, uh, assemble fully harmoniously, then <coughs> phenomena or formation will manifest, will present themselves. Uh, Meaning, uh, conditions are harmonized, then uh, phenomena will manifest. When uh, conditions are separated, then uh, then uh, phenomena are, are disappeared. Hu vong means uh, condi uh, means uh, phenomena. So when the uh, causes conditions are sufficient, then uh, phenomena or formations will manifest. And we uh, we uh, 
can call it, um, <coughs> namely uh, uh, birth and death. And when uh, cause and conditions are insufficient, uh, are separated, are not in harmony, then uh, the phenomena will also be lost. And, uh, and we, uh, we call it uh, death. Um, the Buddha said, temporarily we call it uh, birth and death because in the uh, the realm of of phenomena, in the uh, historical dimension, we see that there is birth and death. But uh, in the ultimate dimension, yeah. or the true nature of phenomena, then it's never been born, never, and it will never die. There's no birth. There's no death. Dear Sariputra, all phenomena are empty. No birth and no death. No being, no non-being. This is the uh, sign of enemies part of the sutra. This uh, part of the sutra is is in the uh, hot sutra that uh, our monastic uh, brothers and sisters usually usually chant. We can we can look at we can uh, imagine uh, or think of COVID nineteen like a cloud. When the causes and conditions are sufficient, like uh, water, uh, heat from the sun, air, then the phenomena will present itself, will manifest in the form as a cloud. And uh, when the conditions are insufficient, then the phenomena will will be lost. The cloud will not be there anymore. And we call it uh, death. Oh, but in reality, the cloud is not uh, dead. The cloud is still there in uh, other forms, other manifestations. For example, uh, rain, uh, ice, snow, well, when we drink our tea, we see the cloud. And um, and when conditions are sufficient, then the cloud will manifest once again. And the same nature is true to uh, COVID-19. Uh, will uh, manifest and cease to manifest due to causes and conditions. And it can uh, manifest again due to uh, causes and conditions at any time. Any day that we are living in the uh, realm of phenomena, uh, the uh, historical dimension, then we still are under the influence uh, and the effect of the, uh, of the phenomena. The point is we have to practice. We have to practice all the uh, Dharma doors. Even if it is uh, meditation, uh, pure land tradition, uh, Maitreya, or, or uh, mindfulness meditation, all of them can bring us to to live with the uh, wonderful present moment. Living with uh, living with the uh, true nature of phenomena. Our form, our body is also a phenomena, a formation. 
Speaking about uh, music, music in Vietnam, we cannot uh, miss uh, Lam Phuong, who is a, uh, a songwriter. He has offered to us so many songs, uh, like timeless songs. In in uh, those collections, there is uh, one song called uh, "Lam Lam." Is the mis mistake or yeah? I have made a mistake to bring you here. He wrote that uh, wish that life is uh, is still like the the beginner's mind the beginning day yeah. uh, being able to return to that first cry baby cry so lam fu has also uh, seen the nature of of uh, rebirth or re-manifestation under the form of uh, a baby with the uh, first cry as uh, he was born. In uh, Anuradha uh, Sutta, we uh, we see we could see that uh, the Buddha asked uh, Bhikkhu Anuradha uh, that, dear Anuradha. What do you think? Can is it possible to find the Tathagata outside of this body? And uh, Anuradha said, uh, "Dear Word Honored One, no. We cannot find the Tathagata. We cannot find the Buddha." Or in other words, we cannot find reality or Buddha nature outside of this body. And so we really need this body in order to practice this. We cannot neglect, abandon. We cannot uh, ignore it despite of its uh, sickness or no, no sickness, and we just neglect it. No birth, no death. That is not a notion. That is not an empty uh, saying, empty sentence. Have we attained this? Uh, this insight, this wisdom. For example, if I say, if one say that uh, he uh, hits you, does it hurt? He asks you, does it hurt? If you say yes, it hurts. Oh, if it's uh, if you say that it doesn't hurt, then uh, are we just like uh, plants and minerals and rocks? But if we say yes, it hurts, then we are living beings, is that right? We should contemplate on this in order to see that no birth, no death is not an empty, uh, it's not empty words, it's not uh, a notion, not to debate. Uh, in the uh, society, we we see that uh, there are many people who are suffering, uh, hopeless, to the point that they had to uh, end their lives and, uh, by uh, suicide. They think that death can help them to alleviate their sufferings, uh, their hopelessness in life. In reality, they are not 
correct. Because in that way, then their suffering is still there. And uh, accidentally or unintentionally, we have uh, left bad seeds in our mind, the seeds of uh, suicidal thoughts. And uh, after that, if these seeds are watered or triggered, then then we will return to that old path, continue to end our lives. Not to mention that uh, we have affected our uh, children generation. We might have unintentionally passed on those negative seeds in the uh, into the mind of our uh, later generation. We uh, lean on this body in order to practice to transform sufferings to to reach the highest understand highest uh, love and highest understanding in the, uh, in the path of the monastics the wisdom is the is the career of the monastic when we uh, practice then we have wisdom then no matter if our body is still here or or has already uh, passed on we can still live with the ultimate dimension in the historical dimension phenomena are reality. Uh, birth and death and uh, nirv nirvana are the same, are one. We've been living in, uh, we can live in uh, nirvana in uh, birth and death. Uh, was uh, a practition, lay practitioner asked a uh, Zen master in spring. Spring has passed, and the winter will come. And then how can we avoid? And the uh, Zen master asked, why don't you go and find a place where there is no summer? There's no uh, winter. Then the uh, lay practitioner said, how can I find such a place? Then the Zen master said, then when the winter comes, you can just uh, shiver. When uh, summer comes, then just let yourself sweat like everybody else. That means that we uh, follow, live in harmony with uh, nature, without uh, without being harmed by nature. Uh, in the words of Tang Tu, Sự Vô Sự, meaning uh, living in in the uh, moments. We are uh, living in the uh, phenomena, but we are not caught by the phenomena. Or in the Mahayana tradition, uh, living in the conditions, but uh, we are not caught by the conditions. We know that uh, Buddhism is the, is the path of practice, not uh, for scholar not for learning a lot or uh, talking, speaking a lot, but without practicing, then we will go nowhere. 
And so, uh, after this, I would like to invite uh, Tay Nimluk to uh, share with all of us uh, about his experience uh, across his uh, monastic life. Uh, thank you for listening. Shakyamuni Buddha, dear Seal, dear Mahasanga, because of uh, causes and conditions, I'm sitting here. Uh, as we all know, when we live and observing our nature, nature, nature around us, then we see that uh, each plant, each the species has uh, different flowers. And uh, in this society, each family uh, has a different condition. And uh, in each and every one of us, we have different uh, formations, different uh, happiness, different suffering in each each of us. I would like to share a uh, story about my family. I was born in a, uh, a family that wasn't uh, so rich, only enough to uh, sustain our daily life uh, necessities. There are four generations living in the same family. And uh, as we all, as uh, you all know, when we uh, eat and uh, when we wash our dishes uh, together, then we will uh, have some uh, collision, and uh, and uh, the uh, dishes are broken or damaged, and so uh, in a family of four generations, and the dishes and bowls uh, are nicked or are damaged. And, uh, and, uh, and just like that, our family has been living together and uh, with uh, some conflicts. Uh, like uh, father has uh, issues with sons and daughters, uh, brothers uh, issues with one another. And I was uh, so naive. I just uh, eat and play. And there were many, uh, and when I. Uh, Sometimes I grew up and I, I realized the seeds of uh, debating, of arguing, jealousy, and uh, those seeds. And uh, not every day, but sometimes when there uh, there is uh, a dispute, and uh, that I was there, then those uh, conditions watered this my seeds as a child. And so now, when I'm when I'm uh, a grown up. Sometimes I feel sad, but I don't know where it comes from. And many uh, sufferings, many pains that I don't know where they come from. Because uh, I think that when uh, in our feelings are like the, a river, and keep flowing and flowing. And uh, when someone does something that make uh, makes us feel happy, we uh, laugh, we smile. And when we when someone touches the seed of suffering, of hatred, of uh, vengeance, then uh, we will react. We let our feelings, our emotions control us. We answer or act 
out of those emotions, creating a uh, greater conflict. It's like uh, me. I live, uh, I live more of a spiritual life, which I don't really care about that. But I in me, I still carry those seeds. It's like in a river, we build uh, a dam to stop the flow of the river. And if that dam is not strong enough, then the water will uh, will uh, break that dam one day. It's like I w would like to control to uh, to let those uh, mental formations within myself, and uh, but not knowing how to resolve them. Uh, suppressing them uh, and I didn't know how to reach out to others I didn't want to uh, to go out I don't want to yeah, so that's why I became uh, depressed and because I didn't know how to uh, deal with uh, the sufferings and when I step into uh, the monastic life I've learned a lot I learned about meditation mindfulness about uh, uh, compassion, having compassion for those we love. But I feel that when I do that every time, every day, when I sit, um, offering my compassion to my uh, relatives, and uh, many nights I, uh, I woke up, I see that why, when I send the compassion energy to those people, but I still have sufferings and pain. And uh, later on, I uh, study some more and I realized it's because I want to help the other person, but we don't, but uh, I don't know how to take care of myself. And so every day I walk to the mirror. I look into the mirror and I uh, pretend to smile but I look into my eyes, but I could still see sadness in my eyes. And uh, the sufferings within, within me are hidden by the smile, but it, I cannot hide them with, from my eyes. And so I uh, came back to my practice and used the light of sh uh, mindfulness to shine, to shine on my own uh, soul um, so that the uh, the light uh, can uh, brighten within myself so I could see the reason behind those uh, sufferings, behind those issues. And I realized that in the time when I was young, uh, my family was quite poor. And uh, a poor family has a lot of pressure um, putting on their shoulders on the from the society. And uh, because of that pressure, it's easy for them to get angry. And so when they uh, touch them, they explode. They cannot control their, their feelings. So they, they have to let it out day by day, month by month, uh, that condition worsens. And so when I could see that, I let the compassionate, the wind of compassion, wind of loving kindness to, to blow, to uh, breeze, to cool down that uh, suffering. Because I uh, see that when uh, when I help someone, and I see uh, I see compassion is a loving kindness is to bring uh, to bring happiness to to another person. It's like a musician or an artist stepping on the stage to uh, act to perform to make others happy. But behind the curtain, they uh, feel they still feel sad. B is compassion. Uh, when uh, making uh, someone to, uh, to to alleviate someone's suffering, it's like uh, like someone who uh, knows how to help others but uh, cannot help themselves. 
So when I see that, I return to myself, to my body, to my mind, to, uh, to alleviate my pain, my suffering. It's like in the song, Tam An, or Peaceful Mind, there is uh, a part I really like, because knowing how to love myself, I know how to love uh, the universe. Please, uh, to your window, can I have a bell? Dear community, in order to uh, cure our uh, suffering within ourselves, it's an art. It's like a gardener. A gardener, uh, when he uh, when he plants a plant, he knows how to take care of it, nurture it. Every day he waters that plant so the so it can uh, root deeply into the soil to extract minerals. So when we want to uh, to transform our suffering, we have to come back to the very basic practice of mindfulness. These practices are like the uh, roots deeply anchor into the soil. If we are gardeners and we just planted a plant and uh, neglecting it, and uh, not uh, nurturing it, and every time we go and see them, why are you so dry? Why are you so uh, so uh, lifeless? And every time that plant will die. And that is an art of gardening. We know we have to know how to nurture that plant. It's like a mindfulness practitioner. We have to maintain our mindfulness in uh, in our everyday life. Like me, I. Uh, Whenever I listen, I will listen to my uh, breath, breathing. And imagine a uh, gardener when he uh, looks at a uh, plant, a tree. He knows that which branch to cut, to trim, and which branch uh, he should leave, let it, uh, let it stay. Which branch to cut so the, uh, the the tree will become stronger, more healthy, in order to give out uh, fruits. It's like a practitioner. We need to know what to let go of. Our sadness in our mind, hatred, jealousy in our mind. It's like a gardener knowing how to trim the branch. That has been uh, eaten by worms or infected by diseases. Uh, if uh, one day we go and look at the plant and we see that there are so many worms, so many bugs, and we just keep standing there and say, Why, why, why? And then we just leave. We don't seek out the method to uh, to save it. If we don't trim the, uh, the diseased branches, then we, one day we look and we see the plant is dead. And it's like uh, us when we study the uh, Buddha Dharma, then uh, we don't know how to trim off our jealousy, sadness within ourselves. We just keep out asking ourselves, why am I still suffering? then that is uh, the up to each and every one of us to answer like a gardener. Later on, uh, when I practice uh, loving kindness and compassion, 
I direct those energies to within myself, to within, and I feel a lot of happiness within myself. And then I think, and then when I look back, I was like a singer. The who feels like when they perform, they perform for their own happiness, not to show off. It's like a doctor, knowing how to uh, take care of the health of himself and the health of uh, his patients. the community to direct our uh, mindfulness, the light of mindfulness, back to, uh, to within ourselves, shine that light on our suffering and uh, listen to one sound of the bell. When I uh, when I know about Buddhism, and Buddhism is a path of returning to ourselves and taking care of uh, our mind and body. And uh, before we want to to help uh, our families. Uh, our relatives or people around us. It's like uh, when uh, Tay um, take an example of the candles. Uh, we light a candle, and that is us, the candle. And then, and then, then uh, we we light another candle using. Using that uh, candle and the two candles are emitting uh, emitting the same amount of light. Uh, so when we have compassion, uh, we have uh, happiness in ourselves, then and uh, people around us have happiness in in themselves. In a small family, uh, we when everyone has uh, harmony, uh, understanding, and, and uh, loving kindness. Uh, taking care of one another. Uh, just uh, imagine if we want to help someone, uh, but in uh, within ourselves, it just uh, just so so many struggles. We could not uh, find the route, and that is difficult. And so, when we practice uh, Buddhism, uh, returning to to our Buddhist nature in the nature within ourselves, uh, taking refuge in the island within. Uh, they said that peace in ourselves, peace in the world. That is uh, my practice, my experience, uh, I want to share to you. And so thank you for all of you for listening and uh, please receive it with uh, compassion. <laughs>